Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, Fly Fish Fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Uh, before we even get started, just want to let you guys know um, uh, we reached a thousand subscribers on the channel, so I'm doing a giveaway of my books as well as a uh, selection of flies from that I've tied on this channel that I'll be giving away to one of my subscribers. So um, just uh, at the end of this video, just uh, there'll be instructions on what you need to do, and uh, you can go from there. So. Today we'll be tying a, another chronomid pattern in my chronomid series. Um, I'll show you guys one that I just uh, tied up a little while ago. The one I'm going to be tying here is going to be just a little bit different. It's going to be a double rib instead of the single rib here. Um, but I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So this is basically what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to add a silver rib to that as well. Okay. Oh, it's got a little bit of fluff on it. There you go. Alrighty. So... <clears throat> We'll start off with a little bit of, uh, first of all, the might help if I have a hook. And I don't know where they are. There. So I'll start off with a Hens BL550. It's a clink hammer hook. I really like these hooks for chronomids. I like the shape that it gives me. And uh, these are super strong hooks. Uh, I'll use a uh, just a little white snow cone bead to match. So you just got to match whatever size, whatever size hook you're using to the bead size. Um, I could go oversized if I wanted to on this. I could go with an oversized bead. I'm not going to. Uh, then I'm going to start with uh, going to use some Zemperfly Nano Silk in the red. Just start, first of all, just get a little bit of uh, wax on my thread. Make sure it gets a uh, good grip on the hook. And just start that and bring that all the way back down around the corner. Nip off that uh, rat's tail. Flatten that out. Just going to come all the way down around this corner here. Down to about there and then open wraps. I'm going to come back up. <clears throat> so... This here is a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, life something. Lar is, well, it's a larva lace, but this is from Hairline in black. So I'm going to be tying that in first. This is going to end up being my rib. I know it sounds kind of weird that it's, this is my rib, but this is my rib. Okay, get that tied in tight and then stretch, stretch, stretch. Really stretch this stuff. So it stays nice and thin and try to keep it on this side of the hook. And then I'm going to come back. Then I'm going to take a piece of red Zemperfly red hollow tinsel. And I'm going to tie that in right at the front here. A couple of wraps, pull that in. Bring that all the way back. I'm just lifting up here to see where I stopped with my black. A little too far. There we go. <clears throat> Actually, I did make a mistake. I wanted to do the. Uh, I want to do the wire, but that's okay. I can do the wire now. Well, this is a Zemberfly 0.1 mil, so it's a really, really small, fine wire. So it won't, doesn't really matter if it didn't get tied in. Should have been tied in first, but. Uh, not a big deal. Sorry guys, it's a timer I got going there for my eggs. <laughs> I figured I had time. Obviously not. So I'm just going to keep on coming all the way back here. And then I'll come all the way forward. I'm just going to make sure the bead is sitting right. And I'm going to build up a little bit in the front here. Just build up a bit of a taper. Doesn't have to be a huge taper on these. Um, you can build the taper with the UV resin as well, right? So, so, alrighty. So I'll get that wire out of my way. Like I said, that should have been tied in first, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to tie my, get my body tied. So the body, the main part of the body is going to be this red hollow tinsel.
see how you can hear that I'm, I'm actually pulling really tight on this. I want this to be really tight, a nice slim tight body on this. Alright, so one, two, three, a couple in front, pull tight, nip that off. I'll just make sure I bury that a bit. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take my black and I'm going to stretch this really good at the back end. And then as I cut every turn I come forward, I'm just loosening off just a little bit on my, my tension. Just want to create a bit of a thicker rib as it comes forward. And all the way to the front there. Doesn't matter if that moves because I'm going to build up a bit of a red thorax area so okay that's tied in really good stretch nip so that sucks itself back in but you see how that's gotten thicker as it came up so now the same thing I'm just gonna follow that black rib I'm gonna go right beside that black rib with the silver now I could have used a point two on this as well I just uh, I tie him with Again, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, medium. I tie it with all different sizes. Um, I found that uh, giving it just that little hint of silver with this one is nice. So whether it's a 0.1 or a 0 0.2, I I haven't noticed a difference fish, for fishability. But uh, so helicopter that off once it's tied in. Now I'm just going to. Just going to move this in a little bit in the vise and then I'm just going to create a bit of a red hot spot at the front here to about there. I'm going to build this right up into my bead so it's tapered into my bead there. Just about like that. Alrighty. <clears throat> good so whip finish and the magic happens with the uv resin makes it really pop out make it look really good nice and tight okay and for this one i'm going to be using some golf thin men i like the thinner resin on this just because I like it, I like it being able to flow to almost self-level. Just put a little bit on, let it let it flow down a bit. I'm gonna just help it along. Put a touch on the bottom. You see how that flowed off to the other side when I had it upside down? So, if anything, I'd rather have a bit of a hump on the this side, underside, underside now. But then, you know, um, so just gonna let it let it do its thing there for a few seconds. Don't worry if there's a little. See, there's a little bit of a hump missing right there, or a little spot. You can just. Give it a little bit of a little bit more UV resin. Let that sit for a few seconds. Give her a shot. Do the top. And see how that 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 under that uh, that hollow tinsel and that uh, red thread. It kind of almost gives it a. Bit orangey bronze look once you put the uh, the uh, resin on so there <clears throat> that is the finished fly it's a fairly simple fly to tie it's just uh, um, just take your time make sure those ribs line up um, I've actually tied them where I tied the black rib in one way and then the silver crossing and making a cross hatch and it's kind of it looks cool but it doesn't really represent the uh, bugs, the insect itself, because the insects don't have crosshatch. So, 
All right, so there's the finished fly. If you like that, give her a thumbs up. Um, contest. Um, what I need you to do is on this post or on the uh, previous one on Tuesday, this will be the Thursday night, and then on the Sunday I'll have another video. Just go to the video, watch the video, give her a like, um, make a comment in on any of the videos or, or all the videos. If you make uh, three comments, you'll have three entries. Um, like one on each video um, and uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to the page and then as long as you're subscribed liked it made a comment you'll be in the draw and uh, I will do the draw next week sometime and uh, get the uh, copy of the books and uh, and the flies out to the winner alrighty so tight lines everyone hope you guys enjoyed that see you guys around <laughs>